In 2024, we made significant progress in delivering our INNOV 2030 strategy, which is at the heart of the Director General's flagship Raising the Bar program. Through our involvement in the CESAR program, we have continued to address key ATM innovation challenges. At the same time, we've continued to strengthen our workforce by attracting top talent while focusing on diversity and inclusion. Another key enabler of our strategy is Move to Saclay, the future relocation of the EU Control Innovation Hub to Paris Saclay Innovation Playground by 2028. This project is now up and running with several milestones achieved. Our drone team supported 13 of our member states in the safe integration of US, from helping use space airspace implementation to analyzing drone traffic around airports and in major cities. We contributed to key conferences from collaborating with IASA, ICAO, USPA, and other major stakeholders. We continued to lead the You Welcome and Eureka projects, as well as the recently launched Chorus 5 project. In addition, we have started to support UAS test centers while accelerating the development of our toolbox for member states, including simulators. In 2024, we've made great progress on 10 pan-European projects we're leading, and 30 we're contributing to. We're getting ready to validate next year the developed solutions which cover everything from trajectory-based operations and weather predictions using AI to optimise TMA and increasing automation. We were also glad to present at the Global TBO Symposium the advancements we've made in two of our key projects, Network TBO and ATC TBO. In addition, we had a major presence at the Cesar Innovation Days where our experts presented several scientific papers. Our user-driven innovation portfolio has reached its ninth cycle in 2024, delivering four projects for industrialization, advancing five projects into the life trial phase and launching four new projects. These address a variety of operational challenges, with most of them leveraging machine learning and AI. We were also happy to welcome a large number of stakeholders attending four innovation events we organized during the year. In 2024, we performed three real-time simulations with the Turkish ANSP. We also collaborated with the Polish ANSP to conduct a simulation for Warsaw Airport, and we supported the validation of civil military solutions as part of the Metrano project. The team has also kicked off our simulator modernization program, organized a battle user conference, and started working on two higher airspace operation simulations. In 2024, the Aviation Sustainability Unit contributed to strategic documents such as Eurocontrol's Aviation Outlook, ECAT's European States Action Plan, and the coming European Aviation Environmental Report by IASA. The team launched ControlNet with its annotated dataset, supported key CESAR Green Deal projects, and developed the Fueling Descartes tools for flying green platforms. We also published our second think paper on decarbonizing long-haul flights by 2050 and enhanced our environmental impact tools. <laughs>